Greetings, brothers and sisters. Because of the uh, pandemic situation is still unstable. So we will revert back to our online meetings. This is, of course, not the best way. But by the Lord's grace, let us fellowship together. Let's begin with some reading of scripture passages. Let us turn to the Gospel of Luke. Chapter 18. Verse 8b. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he really find faith on the earth? Let's turn to the book of James. The epistle of James, chapter 1, verse 3. Knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. First Peter, chapter 1. Verse 7. Let us therefore let the genuineness of your faith being much more precious than gold that perishes, though it is tested by fire may be found to praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ. First Timothy chapter 1, verse 5. The purpose of the now the purpose of the commandment is love from a pure heart, from a good conscience, and from sincere faith. Please pay a special attention to the last phrase, from sincere faith. Second Timothy chapter 1. 也是第五节。Verse 5。When I call to remembrance the genuine faith that is in you, which dwell first in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice, and I am persuaded is in you also. 这里又是保罗在这提到无伪之性,无伪的信心。You see Paul repeats the phrase, phrase genuine faith again. 那么最后呢,我们看一下罗马书。Lastly, let us turn to the epistle of Paul to the Romans. 罗马书第四章。Chapter 4. 我们从十七节要读到二十四节。Verse 17 to 24. We'll, we'll read um, together. Yabrahan so sinda, sinda jaws, rinfu, so be we you, the sin. Taza to me and chain to a monsieur and the fool. 如今上所记,我已经立你做多国的父。Who, contrary to hope, in hope believe, so that he became the father of many nations, 
according to what was spoken, so shall your descendants be. 第十八节，他在无可指望的时候，因信仍有指望。就得以做多国的父，正如先前所说，你的后裔将要如此。Uh, verse eighteen: Who contrary to hope in hope believed, so that he became the father of many nations, according to what was spoken, so shall your descendants be. 请弟兄姊妹注意前面那句话说，在无可指望的时候，因信人有指望。Please pay attention to the phrase "contrary to hope" in hope belief. 第十九节 ，verse nineteen. 他将近百岁的时候，虽然想到自己的身体如同已死，莎拉的生育已经断绝，他的信心还是不软弱。And not being weak in faith, he did not consider his own body already dead since he was about a hundred years old. And the deadness of Sarah's womb. We need to pay attention to the last part of the sentence. His faith was not weak. Let us pay attention to the phrase "not being weak in faith." Let us pay attention to the phrase "not being weak in faith." The twenty-first verse. Verse twenty. Verse twenty. And he looked to God, but was not persuaded, nor was he confounded in his heart. But by faith, he kept the law. He did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God. Ah, we need to pay attention to the next sentence. Verse twenty-one: "Faith without works is dead." Faith without works is dead. 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 And being fully convinced that what he has promised, he was also able to perform. Here, it says, "Full confidence in God, God can perform." Please pay attention to the phrase, "being fully convinced that what he has promised, he is he was also able to perform." Twenty-two to twenty-four. So this is counted as his word, counted as his word. This word. 不是单为他写的，也是为我们将来得算为之义的人写的，就是我们这因信神使我们主耶稣从死里复活的人。Verse twenty-two to twenty-four, and therefore it was accounted to him for righteousness. Now it was not written for his sake alone that it was imputed to him, but also for us. It shall be imputed to us who believe in him who raised Jesus our Lord from the dead. We know that we are at the end times. Lord Jesus will soon come back. The Lord is coming back so soon. So, the Bible has many words to remind us we need to prepare. So the Lord,、um, the Scripture reminds us to prepare in many aspects. Ah, 那么今天早晨呢，我愿意和弟兄姊妹们交通到这个信心的考验。So this morning, I want to fellowship with you on the testing of our faith. 我们知道，这也是在末后的时代神所注重的一件事情。We know that this is what God pays special attention to at the end times. Ah. 那么，使徒雅各告诉我们，啊、uh, ，James tells us， 他说呢，信心可以生出忍耐，啊、uh, ，faith bears patience。我们也晓得，今天我们所处的时代，忍耐是一个很不容易学的一个功课啊。We know that in our times, patience is a very difficult lesson。但是我们需要忍耐。But we need to be patient。啊，许多时候事情改变了，环境改变。There are many times that environment change around us. 我们基督徒知道需要忍耐。We know that we must be patient. 但是我们天然的这种忍耐呢，只会增加紧张、压力和不愉快，对吧 ？But when our natural man tries to be patient, it would result in fear and stress and unhappiness. 雅各告诉我们说，如果信心呃，因因为有信心，信心经过试验
会产生忍耐。The Apostle James tells us that when our faith is tested, it will bear patience. 所以你要怎样能够有这个忍耐呢 ？So how do we develop patience? 你需要相信神。You need to believe in God. 啊，他相信的那个产生出忍耐。When you believe, it would generate patience. 就不需要你自己去忍耐。So you don't need to try to be patient yourself. 所以这是很重要的一件事情。This is a very important principle. 那么彼得也告诉我们。Peter likewise tells us. 我们的信心是需要经过试验。Our faith needs to be tested. 他经过试验之后呢？它就比那个用火试验过的金子更宝贵。And after our faith is tested, it would be more precious than gold. 所以因此呢，弟兄姊妹，我们知道这个试验呢，呃，不是光是一个考试啊。So we know that this testing is not just a test. 我们做学生的时候呢，我们常常要经过考试。When we were students, we always took tests. 呃，我也很怕考试。And I was very afraid of tests. 但是这里所说的这个试验呢，这个考验呢，不是考试。But here, the testing mentioned is not a test. 他不是说呢，给你这个打分数啊，或者给你一个等级啊。So you will not be graded for your faith. 啊，那么这个考验呢，啊，这个测验呢，乃是一个纯度上面的测验。The testing, it's about the purity or the quality of your faith. You, Paul, uh, Peter, 告诉我们像像黄金一样，金子一样。Peter tells us it's like gold. 我们都知道这个金子经过火炼，这个金子越纯的话呢，它的价值就越高，对吧 ？We know that when gold is refined, the more pure it is, the more valuable it would be. 所以我们的信心呢，是需要经过一个，呃。So our faith, the purity of it, needs to be tested. 那么弟兄姊妹，就是神所要我们的有一个真实的信心。So that is the genuineness that God is after. 在路加福音里面，主耶稣说到。In the Gospel of Luke, Jesus mentioned. 他说，然而人子来的时候，遇得见世上有信德吗？ Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? Ah, so, 呢，主回来，主要回来。The Lord is coming back. 但是主要得着一些有真实信心的人。But the Lord wants to obtain a people of genuine faith. 为什么中文里面把它翻成信德啊？信心好像一个德行。Um, how come in the Chinese translation the word faith is mixed with the word righteousness? We can interpret it this way. If your faith is not genuine before God, then it is unrighteousness. So when the Lord Jesus comes back, He wants to obtain a people of genuine faith. 保罗呢，在提摩太前后书都提到了。Paul mentioned in the epistle to Timothy, the first and the second one. 那个那个真实的信心就是无伪的信心。Um, the pure faith is the genuine faith is pure faith. 或者 unfeigned 啊，他们有一个一个说法，就是是一个无伪的信心，真实的信心。It's the um real and genuine faith. 啊。那么你看这个，这个呃，保罗呢，在这个信心上面加了几个几个形容词。You see, Paul inserted some adjectives in front of the word faith. 因为什么呢？保罗看见有很多基督徒虽然在当时在讲信心，但是那个信心是不真实的。You see, when the word faith is mentioned, sometimes it's not genuine or not sincere. 那个信心是虚伪的。That is false faith. 所以弟兄姊妹们。So brothers and sisters. 等今天回主回来了。When the Lord comes back. 主要得着一些真实的信心
The Lord wants to obtain genuine, sincere faith. We know that many times we are using the Lord's word to use the Word of God. We know that many times we know that some of us have faith that has a mixture before the Lord. 那么，尤其呢，我们人呢，我们很容易产生所谓的自信。For us, it's easy to develop some self-confidence. 啊，这个自信从哪里来的呢 ？Where does the self-confidence come from? 呃，从你的聪明。From our intelligence. 我们知道一个聪明人很自信。We know that intelligent people are very self-confident. From your education, from your education, from your education. The more you have, the more confidence you have. From your education, the more degrees you have, the more confidence you have. From your education, from your talents, from your ability, from your might, or from your so-called some achievements, or from your accomplishments. So. 这些呢，都很容易叫我们产生所谓的自信。All these things help us to develop self-confidence. 但是我们知道自信不是信心。But we know that self-confidence is not faith. 而我们看今天呢，在地上，在儿女们中间呢，这种自信的情况是很普遍的。We see that in the house of God, we see much self-confidence amidst the children of God. 因为我们。Because we have self-confidence, we would make mistakes. Galatians chapter three, verse three. Paul rebuked the Galatians. He said, "You actually rely on the Holy Spirit." You begin with the spirit, yet you want to fulfill by the flesh. 弟兄姊妹，我们知道这一句话对我们来讲很真实啊。For us, this is reality. 你靠圣灵入门，就是你已经得救，都是呃已已经重生得救的人了，对不对 ？You were born again by the Spirit of God. 但是呢，在我们的生活中、侍奉中，我们很多时候。都用肉体来成全。In our daily living and our service, we try to live by the flesh. 啊，这就是我们天然的智慧啊、聪明啊、能才干，都很容易显出来。Our natural talents, um, accomplishments. 但是今天呢，神要的不是这。Education, everything came out, but that's not what God wants. 所以保罗在晚年的时候，在给提摩太的书信里面提到一个无伪的信心。So that's why Paul in his latter days mentioned sincere faith. 啊，是一个不虚伪，不不虚，不不是不是不是代替的。It's not substituted. It's not a fake faith. 啊，弟兄姊妹，这很重要啊。This is very important. 因为我们主快要回来了。Because our Lord is coming back so soon, he is looking for sincere faith. I think we can learn from the Bible that 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 we 是真是奇妙无比的。The effect of faith is really amazing. 所以我常常跟弟兄姊妹讲说，没有信心的生活就没有所谓的奇妙生活。I always say, if you live a life without faith, you live without wonders. 到底这个信心，它最终能发出多大的一个果效，这远超过我们所能想象。The effect of faith is beyond our understanding. In our experience, we can testify to this. 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 In our experience, we can When you encounter impossible situations, 
但是信心一进来，整个环境就转变。But when faith comes in, everything is changed. 所以神给我们的信心极其宝贵。So that's why the faith that God gives us is so precious. 啊，我想为着一些比较年幼点的弟兄姊妹啊，我稍微做一点解释。Um, for the sake of the younger brothers and sisters, I will provide an example. We know that before we know the Lord. Ah, we know that before we know the Lord. 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 We know The day when we believe in the Lord, or when we put our faith in Him, this unknown God becomes God. The God that we didn't think existed, existed. Is it? This is the fruit of faith. So that's the effect of faith. You, you, how do you know that there is a God? How do you know that there is a God in the universe? That's faith telling us so. There is a God. 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 Ah, so you can see faith in our believing process. It has a big effect. So you see, faith has a huge effect in our Christian walk. But we know that the effect of faith does not just stop there. But we know that the effect of faith does not just stop there. But we know that the effect of faith does not just stop there. But we know that the effect of faith does not just stop there. But we know that the effect of faith does not just stop there. But we know that 信心可以使有神变为神在我们里面。Faith can bring us to the acknowledgement of God to、um, the state where God abides in us。今天我们都知道，不仅宇宙中有神，今天神也在我们的里面。Today we do not only recognize that there is a God, we recognize that God abides in us。这个是用言语讲不清楚的，对不对？ And it's hard to express that in language. But those of us who have faith know that this is true. That faith can bring us to the state of God's presence. Faith can bring us to the state of God's presence. Faith can bring us to the state of God's presence. Faith can bring us to the state of God's presence. Faith can bring us to the state of God's presence. Faith can bring us to the state of God's presence. Faith can bring us to the state of God's presence. Faith can bring us to the state of God's presence. Faith can bring us to the state of God's presence. Faith can bring us to the state of God's presence. Faith can bring us to the state of God's presence. Faith can bring us to the state of God's presence. Faith can bring us to the state of God's presence. Faith can bring us to the state of God's presence. Faith can bring us to the state of God's presence. But when the Holy Spirit touches us in our faith, oh, all the Holy Spirit just becomes alive. All the words become living to us. So, if you don't have that faith, so if you do not 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 have that faith, Even though you're very bright, you are not able to understand scripture. So we know that this faith in us is so wonderful. You see how faith is such a wonderful thing. It is so wonderful. 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 Turns the impossible into possible. We all know that when faith and the word of God are mixed, it becomes the spiritual reality. When faith is mixed with the word, it becomes spiritual reality. When we read about the power of God, it is not just a doctrine. When we read when we read about the power of God, it is not just a doctrine. When we read about the power of God, it is not just a doctrine. When we read about the power of God, it is not just a doctrine. But in our daily experience, we experience the power of God. We know that these are the effects of faith. We know that these are the effects of faith. Peter, in Peter's epistle, tells us that faith is the effect of faith. Peter mentioned in First Peter chapter one, verse three. Peter mentioned in First Peter chapter one, verse three. Peter mentioned in First Peter chapter one, verse three. Peter mentioned in First Peter chapter one, verse three. Peter mentioned in First Peter chapter one, verse three. Peter mentioned in First Peter chapter one, verse three. Peter mentioned in First Peter chapter one, verse three. Peter mentioned in First Peter chapter one, verse three. Peter mentioned in First Peter chapter one, verse three. Peter mentioned in First Peter chapter one, verse three. Peter mentioned in First Peter chapter one, verse three. Peter mentioned in First Peter chapter one, verse three. Peter mentioned in First Peter chapter one, verse three. What does that mean? 就信心能够产生一个果效，能改变我们的魂。Faith would generate an end that would transform our souls. 所以今天我们这个魂的光景
要被练的纯净，变成呃更好，还是需要经过信心的。So for our soul to improve, it needs to go through the stage of faith. 结果呢，它就使卑贱的变成尊贵。It costs something lowly and transforms it into something noble. 弟兄姊妹，这都是信心在我们身上的果效。That is the end of our faith. 因为信心的缘故，你的魂越来越改变。什么叫越来越改变 ？Our soul, um, it, it's improved day by day. 就基督的性格，基督的性情，就更多在我们身上。Meaning that the quality of Christ. Manifest in us more and more. This is a very big change. This is a great change. I think I will share a very recent testimony of a brother who has done a testimony of a sister. Let me share with you a testimony of a sister. She is in the university. 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 When she went to the laboratory, in her experiment, she realized that she is missing something. When she went to the in her experiment, she realized that she is missing something. She saw that her colleague had what she is missing. And then she saw that she saw that her colleague has what she is missing. She saw that her colleague has what she is missing. She saw that her colleague has what she is missing. She saw that her colleague has what she is missing. She saw that her colleague has what she is missing. She saw that her colleague has what she is missing. She saw that her 那么，因为呢，她的东西放在家里。Because her own stuff is left at home. 她如果要回去拿的话呢，她要跑很远的路。Because um, if she were to go home and get it, it would take her a very long time. 那么她想说呢，我就用她的一点东西了。So she would, she was thinking, I can use um my colleague's stuff. 也许以后呢，我就再还给她。I can um make it up to her later. 所以后来她就用了这东西。So she grabbed it for her experiment. She used it. She immediately felt unpeaceful. And the moment she grabbed it, she felt unpeaceful. She felt that you didn't ask your colleague, you didn't ask his permission, you just took his stuff. There was a rebuke inside. You didn't ask your colleague before you took her things. Yeah, she immediately felt unpeaceful. She 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 felt 经过了一段的一一段的时间啊 ，and after a little while， 她里面一直挣扎的很厉害。She was still struggling。那么最后呢，主感动她，她就向那个同事去认罪。The Lord prompted her to apologize to her colleague。弟兄姊妹，我们哈，也许觉得这是一个很小的事情，对吧？ Maybe some of us would think, "Oh, this is just a small thing." Yeah, our brothers and sisters are not the ones who have high moral standards. Our sister did not have very high moral standards naturally. Our sister did not have very high moral standards naturally. Our sister did not have very high moral standards naturally. Our sister did not have very high moral standards naturally. Our sister did not have very high moral standards naturally. Our sister did not have very high moral standards naturally. Our sister did not have very high moral standards naturally. Our sister did not have very high moral standards naturally. Our sister did not have very high moral standards naturally. 但是呢，你看里面产生一个变化。You see, something was changed inside of our sister. 这如果在一般世人当中的话，你觉得这个没什么。In the eyes of the world, this is like nothing. 但是弟兄姊妹，我们要晓得。We need to understand. 事情本身很小。It is a small matter. 我们的姊妹里面顺服了主。But our sister obeyed the Lord inside. Her soul was changed. So, this kind of thing, her soul was changed. So, this kind of thing, her soul was changed. So, this kind of thing, her soul was changed. So, this kind of thing, her soul was changed. So, this kind of thing, her soul was changed. So, this kind of thing, her soul was changed. So, this kind of thing, her soul was changed. So, this kind of thing, her soul was changed. So, this kind of thing, her soul was changed. So, this kind of thing, her soul was changed. So, this kind of thing, her soul was changed. So, this kind of thing, her soul was changed. So, this kind of thing, her soul was changed. So, this kind of thing, her soul was changed. So, this kind of thing, her soul was changed. So, this kind of thing, her soul was changed. So, this kind of thing, her soul was changed. So, Um, and has higher moral standards than the rest. 但是我们从属灵的观点上来看的话呢 ，But if you judge it from a spiritual perspective, 她做这件事情 ，What she did, 表现了基督的性格 ，Manifests the character of Christ. 那个
尊贵。The majesty. 那是荣耀。The glory. 你知道今天的神在我们身上就是做这样的工。You see, God is doing a similar work in us today. 就要使我们这个卑贱的变成尊贵。To transform. Form us to from base materials to noble materials. So, faith 能够带进这样的一种的果效 You see, that is the end of our faith. 并且呢，它能够使一个平凡的事情变成了不平凡 You see how faith transforms ordinary things into extraordinary things in our lives. 所以弟兄姊妹，我们知道神把这个信心给我们是何其的宝贵 You see how precious is the faith that God gives us. But there's a problem within us. 就是我们的信心呢是掺杂的。There is a mixture with our faith. 因为掺杂的缘故。Because of the mixture. 所以呢，我们就看见这个果效就显不出来了。The end of our faith cannot be manifested. 所以彼得告诉我们，这个信心呢，越被试验过。比金子更宝贵。You see, Peter tells us that when our faith is refined like gold, it's even more precious. 所以弟兄姊妹们，神是给了我们一个信心。So brothers and sisters, the faith God gives us. 但是神要求我们里面有一个无伪的信心。God requires that faith to be genuine faith. 你不能光嘴巴讲信心啊。You can't just talk about faith. Today, 呢，我们的信心的道呢，呃，各各基督教团体都在讲。Everybody is talking about faith in Christianity today. 但是神要寻找那个无伪的信心。But God is looking for sincere faith. 不是你光讲信心。You just don't talk about it. 那要看你是不是真正的表现这个信心。But did you really manifest it? So, brothers and sisters, 本来在我们的生命中啊 ，in our lives， 我们是可以经历神无限的丰富。We can experience the unsearchable riches of Christ. 但是因为我们信心的掺杂 ，but because of the mixture in our faith， 结果呢，让信心的果效就没有表现的这么好。The end of our faith cannot be shown forth as it should. So Paul, in the Epistle to the Romans, that's why Paul tells us in the Epistle to the Romans. He uses Abraham's experience to show us this thing. He illustrates that concept with the story of Abraham. Ah, in particular, in the Epistle to the Romans, especially in chapter four. So Paul talks about Abraham's faith as being a false faith. Paul mentioned that Abraham's faith is a genuine faith. 但是呢，我们从创世纪里面读亚伯拉罕的故事的时候呢 ，But when we read about the story of Abraham in the book of Genesis， 我们知道亚伯拉罕的这个信心呢，是经过了考验过的信心。We know that Abraham's faith has gone through much testing. 经过了神的测验，纯洁过的信心。It has been purified through the process of God's testing. So Abraham, 最后的最终所表现的信心，是一个无伪的信心。And in the finale, we see that Abraham's faith is genuine faith. So Paul used Abraham to explain this thing. So Paul used the story of Abraham to discuss about faith. Abraham became a genuine faith. Abraham. Abraham became a standard, an example of genuine faith. So today, 呢，我们要讲信心。So today, when we talk about faith, 我们要看是不是亚伯拉罕那样的信心。We have to figure out whether that faith is、um, up to the standard of Abraham. 在我们的生活中呢，我们常常会举很多的人呢，啊，呃，讲到他们的的这些信心生活。When we talk about faith, we mention the faith of other saints. 的确有很多弟兄们，前面的弟兄姊妹，他们在地上跟随主的时候，他们是活在一个非常美好的信心生活里。And indeed, there are a lot of brothers and sisters who lived a life of faith before us. 但是呢，我们知道
他们的这个美好的信心呢，那么就是像亚伯拉罕那样的信心。And we recognize that their faith is just like Abraham's faith. 所以我们感谢主。So we thank the Lord. 亚伯拉罕跟我们一样是属血肉的人。Abraham and us are all made of the same things. 他也有他的失败。He had his own failures. 啊，但是呢，我们看见呢，亚伯拉罕经过了神手。给他的这个测验，这个炼净啊。But after Abraham went through God's testing, God's refining， 结果他的信心呢，就越来越纯净。His faith becomes more and more pure， 以至于他能把神心中所要的那个真实的信心显明出来。And in the end, he can manifest the pure quality of faith before God. So that is the greatest achievement in his life. So that is the greatest achievement in his life. So that is the greatest achievement in his life. So that is the greatest achievement in his life. So that is the greatest achievement in his life. So that is the greatest achievement in his life. So that is the greatest achievement in his life. So that is the greatest achievement in his life. So that is the greatest achievement in his life. So that is the greatest achievement in his life. So that is the greatest achievement in his life. So that is the greatest achievement in his life. So that is the greatest achievement in his life. So that is the greatest achievement in his life. So that is the greatest achievement in his life. So that is the greatest achievement in his life. So that is the greatest achievement in his life. So that is the greatest achievement in his life. So that is the greatest achievement in his life. So that is the greatest achievement in his life. So that is the greatest achievement in his life. So that is the greatest achievement in his life. So that is the greatest achievement in his life. So that is the greatest achievement in his life. So that is the greatest achievement in his life. So that is the greatest achievement in his life. So that is the greatest achievement in his life. So that is the greatest achievement in his life. So that is the greatest achievement in his life. So that is the greatest achievement in his life. So that is the greatest achievement in his life. So that is the greatest achievement in his life. So that is the So likewise, our faith can become more and more pure. 这样信息的果效呢，就不断的会显在我们的身上。Then the end of our faith would be manifested through us. 我我们我们回到亚伯兰的故事里面，我们很清楚的能够看见。When we return to the story of Abraham, we can see very clearly. 亚伯兰是一个爱神的人。He is someone who loves God. 在他初期时候，他是相信神。In the beginning, he believed God. 但是他的信心也是不纯洁啊。But there was also a mixture in his faith. 我们特别看见他在生以撒、生儿子这件事情上面。Um, let us take a look at um him trying to bear a son. 他曾经试着用自己的手帮助神。He tried to use his arm of flesh to help God. Just like what the Galatians did, from 圣灵入门 they began with the Spirit, 却试着用肉体来成全 and they try to complete it with the flesh. 啊，我们看见亚伯拉罕也曾经有这个过程 and Abraham did the exact same thing. 在创世纪，如果从十五章读到十七章。So if you read、uh, from the book of Genesis, chapter fifteen to for,、uh, chapter seventeen, ah,、yeah, 在那里呢，神跟他谈到他的后世的问题。God discussed the、um, descendants with Abraham. 那么，那个时候亚伯拉罕年纪也大了。And Abraham was well advanced in years. 他自己想他自己，呃，恐怕生不出儿子来。So he was thinking he cannot father any children anymore. Ah, 那当神对他呃说说话的时候啊 ，When God spoke to him, 神说我要大大的赏赐你，在在十五章那里啊，神要大大的赏赐。对不起，孙立兄，很可能机机，呃，对不起，孙立兄，呃，很可能机机的电脑有问题，要等一下。Freeze 起来了。对Hello, Gigi. Hi, I'm still here. 啊，可以了吗 ？OK， 好，我们继续啊。Let's continue. OK， 那个在创世纪第十五章啊。In Genesis chapter fifteen. 神对亚伯拉罕说：“我要大大的赏赐你。” God said, "I will be your exceedingly great reward." 结果呢？亚伯拉罕对神怎么说呢 ？But what did Abraham said? 说呢，我也没有儿子，你赏我这么多干嘛呢 
Lord God, why will you give me, seeing I go childless? 他说，在我家里面呢，大概呢，承受家业的是那个大马士革人，以以利以谢。And the heir of my house is Eliezer of Damascus. 啊，神说了，这个人不能做你的后嗣的。God said, this is not your heir. 一定要从你自己本身生出来的才算。But the one who would come from your own body will be your heir. So we can see that the first of Abraham's faith is a mixture. You see how there is a mixture with Abraham's faith. He can believe God. He did believe God. He did not 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 God said, "The one who comes from your own body will be there." But Sarah was barren. 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 An idea. Is we cannot let God's word fall to the ground. We cannot let God's word fall to the ground. We cannot let God's word fall to the ground. We cannot let God's word fall to the ground. We cannot let God's word fall to the ground. We cannot let God's word fall to the ground. We cannot let God's word fall to the ground. We cannot let God's word fall to the ground. We cannot let God's word fall to the ground. We cannot let God's word fall to the ground. We cannot let God's word fall to the ground. We cannot let God's word fall to the ground. We cannot let God's word fall to the ground. We cannot let God's word fall to the ground. We cannot let God's word fall to the ground. We cannot let God's word fall to the ground. We cannot let God's word fall to the ground. We cannot let God's word fall to the ground. We cannot let God's word fall to the ground. We cannot let God's word fall to the ground. We cannot let God's word fall to the ground. We cannot let God's word fall to the ground. We cannot let God's word fall to the ground. We cannot let God's word fall to the ground. We cannot let God's word fall to the ground. We cannot let God's word fall to the ground. We cannot let God's word fall to the ground. We cannot let 这个就是亚伯拉罕想说的，用以斯玛利来代替以撒。So they wanted to substitute Isaac with Ishmael. 圣经记载说，亚伯拉罕那个时候已经八十六岁。Scripture tells us that Abraham was eighty-six years old. 但是我们知道，神不能接接受这个。But we know that God cannot accept that substitute. 神对他说，必须是你本身所生的才可以。God specifically said, "The one who came out from your own body." So, 后来呢，亚伯拉罕都快九十九岁了。And in the end, when Abraham was close to a hundred years old, 那么莎拉也也已经生育断绝。And the man or woman has ceased with Sarah. 神相信神是没有问题。亚伯拉罕相信神是没有问题。Abraham didn't have problem believing God. 但是这个时候真是非常大的考验，对不对 ？But this is indeed a great test. 但是感谢神。But thank the Lord. 那么莎拉这么大的年纪就能生下以撒。At such an advanced age, Sarah gave birth to Isaac. 我们知道这个整个故事的过程。We see the whole story. 就是神在那里测验亚伯拉罕。God was there to test Abraham. 弟兄姊妹们，我们必须看清楚这个故事。We need to understand the story, brothers and sisters. 我们的一生也在神的测验里面。Our entire lives are being tested before God. 啊，我想，我们我们人无论怎么样，历史上无论人怎么样经历，恐怕也呃没有人能超过亚伯拉罕这样的经历。I can't see another example that is、um, more difficult than Abraham's. So here, it tells us, "Even if you use your own hands to help God, God won't accept that." So here, it tells us, "Even if you use your own hands to help God, God won't accept that." So here, it tells us, "Even if you use your own hands to help God, God won't accept that." So here, it tells us, "Even if you use your own hands to help God, God won't accept that." So here, it tells us, "Even if you use your own hands to help God, God won't accept that." So here, it tells us, "Even if you use your own hands to help God, God won't accept that." So here, it tells us, And after God tested Abraham's faith, it became genuine. 最后我们来到创世纪二十二章的时候 ，When we come to Genesis chapter twenty-two， 我们看见亚伯拉罕献以撒这件事情上面 ，When we see how Abraham sacrificed Isaac， 那里我们看见亚伯拉罕的信心已经达到了一个无畏信心的一个一个光景。You see how Abraham's genuine faith has reached its pinnacle. He never doubted. He never doubted. 
就带着他的儿子往摩利亚山去了。And took his son to Mount Moriah. 到那里把祭坛建起来，就把儿子绑着放在祭坛上面。And to that exact place, he bound up Isaac and placed him on the altar. 我们知道亚伯拉罕的信心经过了测验之后，他是完全能相信神。You see, after Abraham's faith was tested, he completely, wholeheartedly believed in God. 感谢神。Thank the Lord. 神在历史上找到一个人。In history, God found such a one. 能够把他心中所要的那个真实的信心说明出来。Who can manifest the quality of faith that God is after? 所以今天在地上所有真实的信心都应该是像亚伯拉罕这样的信心。So, all genuine faith should be modeled after Abraham. So, Paul in the Romans. And Paul in his epistle to the Romans. When he tries to explain this faith, he tries to explain this faith. When he tries to explain this faith, he tries to explain this faith. When he tries to explain this faith, he tries to explain this faith. When he mentioned justification by faith, he tries to explain this faith. When he tries to explain this faith, he tries to explain this faith. When he tries to explain this faith, he tries to explain this faith. He mentioned Abraham's story extensively. So I personally feel. Romans chapter four, verse four. So I personally feel. Romans chapter four, verse four. 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 These several verses are truly precious. We should memorize them. God gave us faith. But God wants to refine our faith to be truly genuine. What is genuine faith? To explain this, 你去看罗马书四章十七节到二十四节。You need to study Romans four, verse seventeen to twenty-four. 这是非常宝贵。This is truly precious. 主回来之前。Before the Lord comes back. 主在地上就在寻找这样的信心。God is looking for such faith. 所以弟兄姊妹们。So, brothers and sisters, we have a basic feeling. There is this feeling inside. If we have the so-called faith today, it's not sincere faith. It has a mixture in it. The word of God tells us. 用这样的信心生活侍奉神。If you use such a faith to live and to serve God, 按神来看这不道德。God sees that as unrighteous. 当然，弟兄姊妹们，我们知道亚伯拉罕的信心也是经过了试炼、纯洁之后，才能够显出那个美好的果效，对吧？ Of course, Abraham's faith went through the testing process and reached its genuine, genuine quality in the end. Today, we are the same. Likewise, we are in the same shoes today. We also need God to give us a pure process. We have to go through the process of testing. But in this pure process, we have to go through the process of testing. But in this pure process, we have to go through the process of testing. But in this pure process, we have to go through the process of testing. But in this pure process, we have to go through the process of testing. But in this pure process, we have to go through the process of testing. But in this pure process, we have to go through the process of testing. But in this pure process, we have to go through the Submit to Abraham. Ah, we see that when Abraham encountered these circumstances, how was his attitude in God's face? What was Abraham's attitude when he faced adversities? Ah, so when Abraham encountered these circumstances, how was his attitude in God's face? What was Abraham's attitude when he faced adversities? Ah, so when Abraham encountered these circumstances, how was his attitude in God's face? What was Abraham's attitude when he faced adversities? Ah, so when Abraham encountered these circumstances, how was his attitude in God's face? What was Abraham's attitude when he faced adversities? Ah, so when Abraham encountered these circumstances, how was his attitude in God's face? What was Abraham's attitude when he faced adversities? Ah, so when Abraham encountered these circumstances, how was his attitude in God's face? What was Abraham's attitude when he faced adversities? Ah, so when Abraham encountered these circumstances, how was his attitude in God's face? What was Abraham's attitude when he faced adversities? Ah, so when Abraham encountered these circumstances, May the Lord be able to refine the faith in us and complete the process. 那么现在呢，我要用一点时间啊，把罗马书第四章十七节到二十四节这段话呢，呃，略略的给弟兄姊妹一点说明
Um, I want to expound on Romans chapter 4, verse 17 to 24. 啊，如果你喜欢，你可以把这段话呢打开来啊。Let's turn to the passages together. 啊，那么罗马书第四章。Romans chapter four. 这里首先呢，他告诉我们亚伯拉罕所信的是那叫死人复活、死无变为有的神。Um. God, um, as it is written, I have made you a father of many nations in the presence of him who believed. God, who gave life to the dead and calls those things which do not exist as though they did. You see, Abraham believed in God who gives life to the dead. And calls it those things which do not exist as though they did. So our God is impossible. So there is nothing impossible with God. I think this is not a problem for many Christians. I know that no,、uh, I know that most Christians are fine with this concept. But our problem is here. But there is another problem. Why do we meet many problems when we pray? We pray and ask God to help us. But how come when we face adversities, we pray about it and nothing happens? God was so powerful; He can raise the dead. You can't have Him. He can call things that do not exist into existence. But this seems to us to be a simple truth. But how come this is only an Uh, objective reality. It's difficult for us to experience it subjectively. We know the key is faith. The key is faith. It's not just faith. But genuine faith. Because our faith is too mixed. But because there's a mixture in our faith, so God's power can't reach into our lives. So the power of God cannot be manifested in our lives. So the power of God cannot be manifested in our lives. So the power of God cannot be manifested in our lives. So the power of God cannot be manifested in our lives. So the power of God cannot be manifested in our lives. So the power of God cannot be manifested in our lives. So the power of God cannot be manifested in our lives. So the power of God cannot be manifested in our lives. So the power of God cannot be manifested in our lives. So the power of God cannot be manifested in our lives. So the power of God cannot be manifested in our lives. So the power of God cannot be manifested in our lives. So the power of God cannot be manifested in our lives. So the power of God cannot be manifested in our lives. So the power of God cannot be manifested in our lives. So the power of God cannot be manifested in our lives. So the power of God cannot be manifested in our lives. So the power of God cannot be manifested in our lives. So the How can we let that power tap into our lives? So we have to pay attention to faith. So he says, "So we have to pay attention to faith." So he says, "So we have to pay attention to faith." So he says, "So we have to pay attention to faith." So he says, "So we have to pay attention to faith." So he says, "So we have to pay attention to faith." So he says, "So we have to pay attention to faith." We need to pay attention to four specific things. Ah, 那么在十八节那里 ，in verse eighteen， 有一句话非常的宝贵啊，在无可指望的时候，因信仍有指望。There's this very precious phrase, "Who contrary to hope in hope believed." Ah, 我们有许多时候在生活中也会经历这个失望，对不对？ There are many times in our lives that we felt hopeless. Ah, this Christian, when he encounters this thing, hopeless, he says, "This is really difficult." When we encounter this kind of situation, it makes us feel very hopeless. When we encounter this kind of situation, it makes us feel very hopeless. When we encounter this kind of situation, it makes us feel very hopeless. When we encounter this kind of situation, it makes us feel very hopeless. When we encounter this kind of situation, it makes us feel very hopeless. When we encounter this kind of situation, it makes us feel very hopeless. When we encounter this kind of situation, it makes us feel very hopeless. When we encounter this kind of situation, it makes us feel very hopeless. When we encounter this kind of situation, it makes us feel very hopeless. When we encounter this kind of situation, it makes us feel very hopeless. When we encounter this kind of situation, it makes us feel very hopeless. When we encounter this kind of situation, it makes us feel very hopeless. When we encounter this kind of situation, it makes us Sometimes we become listless and、um, let things be the way they are. Ah, sometimes we see that the couple's relationship is really hopeless. Ah, when we meet people, we feel like they are hopeless. When we meet people, we feel like they are hopeless. When we meet people, we feel like they are hopeless. When we meet people, we feel like they are hopeless. When we meet people, we feel like they are hopeless. When we meet people, we feel like they are hopeless. When we meet people, we feel like they are hopeless. When we meet people, we feel like they are hopeless. 
when we see problems between parents and children, or maybe admits, friends, admits colleagues, with our relationships, and when we have sicknesses, 我想在我们生活中间呢，太多的事情的发生，有时候叫我们感觉是无可指望，对吧？And there are too many things in our lives that we felt hopeless. 亚伯拉罕也碰过这样的情形呢。Abraham encountered such hopeless things. 那么神要把我们的信心要练得纯净。But God wants to test our faith. 就是你在无可指望的时候，人就能相信神。So contrary to hope. Let us in hope belief. Yeah, this is very important. Thank the Lord. This is the end of genuine faith. We can see in church history, we see in church history many brothers and sisters experience the same thing. When they encounter hopeless situations, but because they believed in God, everything changed. A lot of people proclaimed victory by faith. So it tells us that the faith God gives us it would never be hopeless. So if today God gives us a circumstance from man's perspective it's hopeless but we know that the faith God gives us can help us to become hopeful. God will never disappoint those who hope and trust in Him. Because of time, I can't tell you my experience in the past. But I hope that you will understand what I'm trying to say. Secondly, in verse 19, it speaks of Abraham's body already dead since he was about 100 years old and the deadness of Sarah's womb. And Abraham not being weak in faith. We know that if we uh, look at today. Um, our bodies are a prime example of um, what is mentioned here. Abraham, Abraham is very old and his body is as good as dead. And for Sarah, her womb was dead. So this is a biological situation that no one can turn around. That is reality. Even though it reached that hopeless circumstance, Abraham not being weak in faith, he did not waver. You see how our external circumstances are here to test our faith. God allow these circumstances to happen to us to purify our faith. This is a very precious matter. So this genuine faith is not weakened at all. Uh, 当然, 弟兄姊妹, 亚伯拉罕也是经过软弱变成不软弱啊, 
Of course, he went through weakness to become not weakened at all. So we need to likewise go through similar testings. Um, let me present a parable. So picture a large tree. The roots extend very deep. And the trunk is very thick. And when the storms come, the branches get moved about and the smaller branches fall apart. But the roots and the trunk is immovable. That trunk, those roots are our faith. So we need to pursue this immovable faith. Thirdly, verse 20. He did not waver at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God. Because of faith, his um, heart was strengthened. You see, our hearts are not very trustworthy. It easily wavers. It's very unstable. But at that moment, because of faith, Abraham gave glory to God. How do you give glory to God? In the word glory, um, it encompasses praise and worship in the original language. When we see that the testing is great, we continue to worship God. We continue to praise God. I heard brothers and sisters share before. Praise is the evidence of faith. When you encounter such adverse circumstances, you still praise. That shows that you have faith in God. And through these adverse circumstances, God refines our faith into genuine faith. So it is immovable. Believing in the promise of God. Lastly, in verse 21, and being fully convinced to such an extent, there is zero doubt. This faith completely believes in God. Being fully convinced what he has promised, he was also able to perform. So scripture tells us, because he had such a faith before God, it was counted to him for righteousness. The word accounted, it's genuine accounting. It's booked to his account. So in our experience, um, anything that comes out of this genuine faith, God would amen that and credit it as righteousness. So let us not live by a faith that has a mixture in it. 
Let us not live with our self confidence. Whether your faith is genuine or not, it's judged by God alone. If your faith is indeed genuine faith, God would credit that as righteousness. Then you would definitely uh, manifest the end of the faith. So, brothers and sisters, we have reached the end of the time. God not only required it of Abraham, likewise, God requires it of us today. We thank the Lord uh, in that He allows us to encounter many circumstances. All these things are for us to refine our faith. If by faith we can be accounted for as righteous, then your Christian living would be in abundance. It would be amazing. And in that living, we can truly give glory to God. If you have that genuine faith in your living, and when the Lord comes back, He would be so pleased. You see, the time is very pressing. The Lord gave us much admonition and teaching regarding the end times. We should all pay attention to it. Brothers and sisters, May our daily living would truly be lived out in genuine faith. That we can welcome our Lord back in our genuine faith. Yeah, uh, May the Lord use these words to bless all the brothers and sisters. Let us pray. Dear Lord, our hearts are indeed filled with thanks. This morning we know that you are surely with us. In your word we fellowship. May the spirit of truth lead us and guide us into the reality of your word. That all of us, in our different circumstances, we can understand your work in our lives. Because as you have worked in Abraham's life, you would likewise work in our lives. You will refine the faith that you have given us. No matter how our situations change, no matter how hopeless our situations are, help us to live by faith before you. Help us to live a righteous life before you. That in these times, that in our daily living, we can experience the abundance of Christ. That the end of our genuine faith would be manifested. Thank you for your grace. We want to render unto you the worship you deserve. Hear our prayer. 
靠耶稣基督宝贵的名。In Jesus Christ's precious name. Amen. Amen.